are diving into Aircraft Act of 1934, the law that literally keeps Indian aviation fly high. An act to make better provisions for the control of manufacture, possession, use, operation, sale, import and export of aircraft. The Aircraft Act of 1934 regulates Indian's civil aviation industry. The Aircraft Act applies to Indian citizens, aircraft registered in India, aircraft registered outside India but operated in India, foreigners operating an aircraft in India or a business within India. One of the key provision of Aircraft Act is the aircraft certification and safety. The act empowers the government to ensure that all aircraft meet safety standards and certified as airworthy. This involves inspection, testing and maintenance protocols. But what about the people flying or even fixing these airplanes? The act also regulates licensing of personnel, whether you are a pilot or an engineer, you got to be a certified with some standard training and high standard to keep everyone in the air or on the ground safe. Now let's understand another key provisions of control of air transport services. Government has the power to set flight routes and approve airlines to make sure of that every flight follows the right path. Then there is a air navigation playing a vital role. The act also governs airspace management, ensuring that all flights are coordinated safely. From the air traffic control to setting up airports, Every piece of puzzle is carefully managed to avoid any sort of mid-air mishaps. And here comes the act in India aligned with international standards set by International Civil Aviation Organization. So whether you are flying domestically or internationally, the rules are the same. Safety comes first. If you have enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Innova World for more further insights about aviation and aerospace.